Are we ready? All right. All right, we're here at Harley Davidson Place today. It's a great thing. Me and Jennifer and David, David Hand down on the end, Jennifer Brantley in the middle. I'm Gerald Smith. I'm going to try you one here as a test. Are we all right? All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> song that I uh, wrote for Mr. Colin Ray a few years ago. Well, listen, dear, I think it's clear we need to sit and talk. It seems you've got this notion I've been having second thoughts. Well, I must confess, in a way I guess that silly notion's true. This is uh, called uh, Cut Me Off at One Tonight. This song was cut by a group called Perfect Stranger a few years ago. I wrote this with Mr. Wynn Varble and Rich Fagan. Home, the sun gets in my eyes. But 
tonight's gonna be different Yeah, I'm finally cutting down In fact, I feel so good I think I'll find another round But cut me off at two tonight It's gonna be my limit Yeah, me look out for my elbow And watch how much you bend it one up here today. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do uh, They Don't Make Them Like They Used To. Gerald, are you wanting to play bass? Or... Go ahead. Well, I'll give you a moment. Yeah. Wrote this with my good friend Mike Collison. I think he's played quite a few of the oh, ones at the Fontanelle. I think he's played here too.
right one you always have in mind who you wish would record it, uh, this would be George Strait. <laughs> that would uh, pay off my house. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh boy. And our publisher is here, Jamie Creasy, back there. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Thanks for coming out. He's going to tune up. I wish I could buy a Harley. That would be awesome. But I would kill myself on one. Just let me get a life insurance. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. <laughs> I have a cousin in California. He lives um, near Santa Barbara. I grew up out in California. Uh, he has about 30 Harley Davidsons, and he uh, he buys them and fixes them up and sells them. Sells a lot of them in Germany. Um, he has some really cool old ones, the sidecar and all that. Is that one gonna stay in tune, Cheryl? <laughs> Her husband and friend and. They're from the Faroe Islands, which, if you know where that is, that is near Denmark. How many miles out from Denmark? <laughs> Two hour flight. Two hour flight. <laughs> and uh, Gerald and I had co written a few things together, and he called me one day and he said, a girl from the Faroe Islands is recording two of our songs that we wrote, and that is Evie. And she's here all the way from the Faroe Islands with us, and we're going to get her to do one in just a minute. I can't wait. Her, her album sounds awesome, and Brent Mason produced it, so, you know, you couldn't get any better than that. But, um, are you guys tuned up with <laughs> her? Okay. <laughs> I'm right here Where you left me Nothing's changed Since you broke my heart in two I'm right here Where you left me Still that fool not ready to Stop loving you
There we go. Hey, look at that. What do you know? <laughs> when they start doing that? <laughs> He's, he's not singing oh, on this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I hope not. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm so mean. This is my husband, David Hand. <laughs> I give him a hard time. <laughs> he teases me enough about being blonde. So. Okay, are we ready, guys?
magic song here too. <laughs> anyway, uh, me and a, a lady named Paula Jo Taylor and uh, Larry Williams got together one day and she wrote a, a two or three things for Cletus Judd, you know, the comedian. And uh, anyway, uh, anyway, she, uh, so I got with her. I wanted to write something funny that Cletus would cut. And uh, anyway, we got in there and uh, She's a, Paula Jo is an unbelievable guitar picker. I mean, she's just all over the neck, you know. And uh, I'd heard this little joke around town, and, and I'd used it in some of my little shows. I'd, I'd say, well, this fellow come up to me the other night and told me I played like Chet. And, uh, and I thought he meant Chet Atkins, but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I said, that'd make a good song. So we wrote this, and it's called You Play Like Chet. Again in a bar down in Del Rio When a man came up to me and said, hey amigo Well I've been sitting here listening to the way you play your songs And there's something I've been wanting to tell you all night long You play like Chet And I said, well Chet Atkins was the best And he said like Chet And I said, well thank you for the compliment He said, senor, you know, comprende You know, understand what I say Like in Buffalo Chip You play like Chet Well, I really didn't catch all he was saying I was playing I saw a pick the wildwood flower And I thought I'd done it well And he said, I'm pray what key you in I swear, it sounds like L You play like Chet And I said, well thank you once again And he said, like Chet And I said, well I heard you the first time, friend He said, senor, you know, comprende You know, understand what I say in Buffalo Chip You play like Chip Well as we were packing up our things ago things ago he waved at me and he hollered Adios Adios spoke some words in Spanish well I didn't understand and as he left the bar room well, he shouted once again you play like Chet, and I said, well, y'all come back again, and he said, like Chet, and I said, well, old Chet, he was the man, he said, senor, you know, comprende, you know, understand what I see, like in Buffalo Chip, you play like Chet. producer a couple albums ago, Bill Warnick. Bill Warnick has produced uh, mainly bluegrass, um, Ralph Stanley, Allison Krauss, and the list goes on. And we wrote this together. You want to play bass on this, Gerald? Yeah. Little thing.
animals and I always encourage people if you want a best friend or a companion go out to the local humane society and get a pet there's plenty for adoption oh yeah yeah uh, Dave and I two Fridays out of the month um, go out to fourth and Lafayette downtown and it's called Friday Night Hope, and we deliver food and clothing to the homeless. And we set it up the PA and we play, if anybody would like to come out and play with us sometime. And you would be surprised how many homeless people there are in Nashville. And um, some, you think, oh, they're just drinking too much, whatever. A lot of people have lost their job, and that's why they're homeless. And um, so it's a great thing to go out and help these people. Um, you can go to placeofhopetn.org if you want to donate jackets or money or whatever. It's a really good uh, opportunity to help the homeless. Gerald, which one are you going to do? Let's do uh, it. <clears throat> could have kept my bass home, but anyway, oh. I ain't going to switch your bass. <laughs> this, is a, this is a little song called Where There's a Wheel, There's a Relative. Me and Mr. Bill Warrington and Tom Shepard wrote this. And it's on my little comedy CD. I got some CDs here. You do too, don't you, Jennifer? Uh, There's anybody here that don't have one already? Yeah. <laughs> one, two, one. <laughs> well, ain't true. A thousand acres and a big old farm She passed away last Monday Knew she had a lot of kin So lived way out of town We weren't sure just where they were Or how to track them down But where there's a will There's a relative It's amazing how they come from Louise 
thought she would be in the will and testimony After nursing and Trudy through a bout with bad baloney And Uncle P liked antique Trudy had a lot they say Well he figured he would get them all and sell them off on eBay But if you could have seen the faces you'd seen how bad it hurt When every same thing went to the Friendship Baptist Church Doggy in the store just a minute ago talking about dogs. Our dog tore her ACL, so um, they're going, What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, Eddie Stubbs. Um, we were lucky to get to an interview on WSN the other night, brought Evie with us, and um, it's a show at midnight. It's a trucker show with Marcia Campbell, and um, Couple, I guess a year or so ago, I wrote this song about Eddie Stubbs. If you listen to WSM, he's like the main dude on WSM, and so we wrote a song about him. That might be what my problem is.
do this one. This one's called That Old Truck. Can't pass up a honky tonk. This was just cut by a guy named Martin Sims. And uh, anyway, I'm hoping that this, he's going to make it a big hit. It'd be nice. Uh, G. Oh, is it, you going to do it G or S? G. Okay. I want. Mr. Billy Yates. He also wrote the rocking chair for Billy, uh, for George, and also, uh, uh, anyway, me, B me and Billy Yates and uh, John Northrup wrote this, and uh, George Jones cut it on the Living to Tell It All album. And anyway, uh, it's called The Lone Ranger. One, two, three. Sitting at home, sick of being all alone. I thought I'd just go for a drive. I was headed downtown, then I did a turn around when I saw the neon sign. It said, Happy Hour, two for one. Sounded like a lot of fun. So I stopped and went inside. The next thing I knew, I was sitting on a bar stool, having the time of my life. Well, I had more silver bullets last night. Then the Lone Ranger I was shooting them down like I didn't have a care Ignoring all the danger Lordy, bless my soul this morning I woke in the arms of a 
perfect stranger. I had more silver bullets last night than the Long Ranger. Well, did the fellow mention it wasn't my intention to stay out all night long? To the next thing I knew I was gone Well here's where I draw a blank The band was playing Hank She rode in to save the day And all I remember Was kiss sweet and tender High old silver it away Well I had more silver bullets Last night than the Long Ranger permission to do this so if Glenn Douglas Tubb is watching he would be fine with it. On our album we had the opportunity to do a Hank Senior tune and um, it had never been recorded so it was very exciting to, to get the opportunity to do this. Uh, it was co-written by Glenn Douglas Tubb who also wrote Wishing Well that Evie did earlier and uh, the story is that uh, when Hank Senior died Audrey found some lyrics that weren't finished and so she gave him to Glenn Douglas Tubb. If you don't know Glenn, he's the uh, nephew of Ernest Tubb. And he wrote Skip a Rope, Home of the Blues, Two Story House, some really, really good country classics. And um, so anyway, he took the lyrics of Hank Sr., finished them, and they were sort of, I've been saying, buried for all these years. And then a year ago, we got to record it. So thank you, Glenn, and Hank Sr., wherever you are. <laughs> Um, it's called Heartbroken, Forsaken, and Alone. There's where? Yeah, with that door open. Thank you, oh. sir. <laughs>
got some cool clothes here too. I love shopping. <laughs> Been staring just, at those from the stage. They could just take the end of this building here and make a little kind of a little coffee house out of it and just yep. serve sandwiches and have entertainment in it all the time. Thank you, Jeremy. Who that feels better? I thought about doing a, uh, let me see here. I'm going to do this song, this song about my daddy, uh, it's called Shorty Was a Big Man. case behind the seat of his pickup truck just in case he had a show to do at the nursing home or church a little man five feet tall they called him shorty for short but everyone I know looked up to him cause when it came to heart Shorty was a big man And everything but size Set a good example by The way he lived his life Kept his faith in Jesus Said the good Lord had a plan his eyes Shorty was a big man He'd say I used to play those honky tonks Now I'm playing for the Lord I gave all that nonsense up back in 1964 he always dreamed of the opera stage and of being a big star. But with a full-time job and a family, he never got that far. But Shorty was a big man and everything but size. Shorty was a big man Gift his faith in Jesus And his sights on the promised land Until the very end Shorty was a big man Thank y'all for having us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.